What's up everybody, Trip Smith here, another adventure here on YouTube. For this video, we're in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Our goals for the next three days are to do a little bit of crabbing, but mainly to target some sheep's head and catch us some sheep's head. We got the crab pods right here, ready to go. Legal this time. <laughs> right here so we can uh, kind of get off the boat and go around some pilings and maybe some bridges to try to get us a few sheep's head with some fiddler crabs. So the first thing we're going to do is find some fiddler crabs. That's where we're headed. Let's go. hunted fiddler crabs before. <laughs> I've tried to find them. I've always just kind of pulled up somewhere and looked, there's a thousand fiddler crabs. Usually it's not a difficult thing to do from what I've have read and learned. But right now we're in the cooler months so it might prove to be difficult. So let's see what we can find. Nah, that don't look as good as I wanted it to. They're probably going to be burrowed down into the sand in little holes. Hopefully like up in a little like freshwater creek or something like that or a little you know bayou type deal that was one i don't think that's going to work so another one a little further down here let's go check it out all right so i'm pulling up in this little uh i don't know just this little offshoot here i just kind of pull up on the sand here and take a look around see if there's any fiddly crabs i don't know we're gambling here actually we're not gambling we're just kind of taking a shot in the dark hoping to get lucky <laughs> Ooh, shallow. Glad we got a shallow draft boat though, right? Maybe it's deep enough we can go all the way to the beach. Yeah, I think so. Switch her off. I think it's gonna work. Fiddlers, where you at? If I'd have thought ahead, I would have dropped an anchor off the stern on the way in, but we'll just walk it out there. don't really need much, I just don't want the boat to go sideways up onto the shore. Looks like we're right at the end of the airfield! <laughs> I hope it's legal for me to be out here and it's not like Air Force property or something. Oh, I think we may be in luck. I learned this on YouTube. This is so cool. So if you look closely down here on the ground, you see all these little holes? Just inside those there's usually fiddler crabs. And I can see one down in there. He's in there. Great news. Now we just got to get like a paddle and get them out. Fantastic. I was really worried about not being able to turn through the grass. And it was this whole video being a bust. <laughs> got our fiddling supplies. Let's go fiddling. What does that say? Warning. Great. It says warning Air Force installation. Does that mean you can't go there? I'm aware there's one there. Doesn't say stay out. Oh, somebody's coming in, baby. Probably gonna report me. Hope like a pilot doesn't report me or something like that. <laughs> Just take the paddle. Get up under him. Lift up. Supposed to come out. I thought I saw one. Okay, maybe not. Let's try another one. <laughs> try this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> what if they're deeper, maybe? Yeah. He's gonna come out. There he is, see him? Beady beady thing. Right. Come here. Come on up. Come on up, buddy. Come here. Right there. Boom. Got one. 
He's small. Whatever. Okay. Let's try this one up here. Oh, there he is. Come on out. Oh, did he run all? Okay, I think I see what's happening. Oh, there he is. Boom. Got him. Well, this is exciting. We're catching him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Big daddy. Come here. Booyah! Oh, yeah. We're loading up. This little thing. Teeny tiny one. Let it be. That's not even a fiddler crab. Wait a minute. That's an upside down blue crab. Yep. Dead baby blue crab. Poor thing. Alright, so we've got ourselves a handful of fiddler crabs. I've got the crab traps ready to rock and roll. I just haven't put the bait in. We're using a different bait this time. <laughs> so now I'm about to head out towards some bridges and docks. And on the way, we're going to drop off our crab traps. I don't exactly have the best spot to put the crab traps out. All right. I don't know if I'm putting them in a good spot or not. Just basically putting them out because I've got them and I'm going to be here. Let's put them out. We'll pick them up before we leave. So I want to go right back in here. That's pretty tight and it's oh, very shallow. I'm kind of gambling here. I just want to see what she can do, you know? Might be too shallow already. Yeah, we're doing alright. I know there's a hole like right up here, like high up here one time. Oh, this is nice. Well, it's super shallow back in here. I'm kind of looking for a spot to anchor tonight. That's going to be protected. It's not super shallow. It's not too bad. It's pretty shallow around here. But we got a shallow draft boat, I think. Thank the Lord. Pretty deep right here, actually. For being back in here. Yeah, this might be a good spot to put the traps out. Gee, I don't know. Okay, yeah, there's a hole back there. Let me go back and put the traps, or one of the traps in that hole. We've got kind of a special bait <laughs> this time. So I'm going to throw out my anchor just to kind of hold it still so we can get this bait ready. It's just a little secondary lunch anchor too, so it's not too difficult. There's a little drop off like ledge up there. I don't know. We're going to throw them out here. Let's grab a special bait. Boom. Check it out. Dog food. <laughs> Not just any dog food. Chopped ground dinner with beef, bacon, and cheese flavor. Oh, yeah. I've got holes poked in one side. I think I need holes poked in the other side too. I don't want to make a mess on the boat. So if I put this down, flip it over real quick, I can poke holes in the other side. I hope it doesn't make a big mess all over the boat. Then we'll toss it in the trap and then we'll toss it overboard. Here's one of my great ideas. <laughs> I don't know how juicy this stuff is, so. Okay, sealing it, but as soon as I start banging on it, it could start going everywhere. Okay. Oh, it's coming out of the top. Dang it. Oh, shoot now. Oh, okay, we've done enough. Shoot now like in my face. Just a jelly. Y'all see the jelly a little bit? Alright. I'm gonna mess it, babe. Oh, not too bad. Oh. That. There we go. Alright, let's get her over. Oh, this boat. Oh, and I've got it latched. The trap's closed this time. Like last time, if you guys hadn't seen it, I've got to close the traps. Carefully. Trying to have a little knot there. Okay. I just gotta clean up this. <laughs> 
All right, we got this scrap trap ready. Take her out. This is a big, deep hole over here. Just gonna toss it out there somewhere. The water out here is pretty clear. You can see like it's over 16 foot at the bottom. Something like that. Deeper than I would have thought. That's good. All right, let's go see if we can find some sheep's head. I really hope we can. I'm excited about trying to catch him. All right, just dropped anchor just down from the bridge up there, which is where I'd like to try to do some fishing. Now let's get our old paddleboard off. Okay, I think we're ready. Got the paddleboard loaded down with only the essentials. Cooler with ice for the fish, fiddler crabs, fishing pole rigged up, and paddle. I've got my PFD on with uh, some leader line, some lead, and hooks in here. And then my phone. Wait, I need my phone. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Hello, phone. Can I put it in there? It's already in there. The phone's already in there. Got my phone too. And of course I got a rope to hopefully like tie up to the bridge with. Anything else I'm gonna need? I'm gonna grab this just in case. Never know. Should we get some extra rope? Let's bring some extra rope too. We're ready. <laughs> oh great. Right before we get on the board it starts to rain. That's okay, we can handle that. Darn. We gotta make it happen. We gotta do it. Whatever it takes, right? Whatever it takes. To an extent. <laughs> it is a little cool anyway, so jacket may not hurt me. Got my Revolution Race jacket that I've been testing out. It's working okay so far. I like everything about it. I just haven't put it through enough paces to see if it gets wetted out yet. Sometimes when you get a jacket that's just like Gore-Tex-y type material, uh, it's water resistant or waterproof for a while. Then eventually the water seeps through and it doesn't work as a rain jacket anymore. So let's see if it works. Okay, we're ready. Just don't drop the camera in the water trip. That'd have been bad. Yeah. Okay. I don't have my bucket or my cooler strapped on. I'm just gonna kind of roll with it. I'm not going far and it's not like treacherous waters. Hopefully we come back with a mess of fish. Oh, we got a dude coming through on a canoe. Are you kidding me? We gotta talk to him. Maria, are you traveling? Where are you coming from? Uh, St. Paul, Minnesota. Okay. Where are you? New Orleans. Uh, it's going to go to the Miami, or the Florida Keys. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of bad for the newest in between, uh, is it, uh, Carabell and, and Tampa? Yeah, I'd say Alligator Point to Tampa. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's no intercoastal. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to go back to Texas. That's where I'm from. Cool. All right. How long you been on the water? It's like March, March 15th, uh, spring break. Sweet. What's your name? Russell. Russell. Is that what everybody calls you? I go by Red. Red. Yeah. All right, Red. Are you documenting your adventure? Uh, no. Okay. Good deal, man. Paddle yeah. on. Again, I've seen alligators longer than my boat. Oh yeah. Scary moments. That's awesome. Cool. Well, I have a YouTube channel. You mind if I put you on there? Yeah, for sure. All right, buddy. You take care of yourself. Stay safe. You too, man. You can look up Trip Smith and you'll see yourself. Okay, Trip Smith? Yep, with one P. Yep. Have a great day. You too. Yes, sir. I'm going to tie to this nail right here. Yeah. 
said it would just stay on there. Just looped it over. There we go. I'd say we're in a pretty good spot. A lot of times the sheep's head will be right at the bottom of the wall, right along the edge, on the edge of the pylons, even on all the barnacles and stuff. They're on. Glad we're making this happen. Hope you are enjoying it. If you are, give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. <laughs> Let's get it rigged up. I got a size one uh, live bait hook right here with a little bitty weight up there. So sink her down to the bottom. I really got some kinky line on this reel. I need to redo it. We gotta watch ourselves and stay away from that sharp stuff. <laughs> We're doing okay so far. All my crabs have gone into hiding. Here's one. Right down through his tummy. Mm, sorry, buddy. It's for the greater good. Oh, man, I got a couple of his legs off. He's still wiggling a little bit. All right. We may need more weight. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more weight. Or are we? No, he's on the, he's on the bottom. Okay, so I've been seeing a few sheep's head come up shallow here. I've been fishing on the bottom. It's probably, I don't know, 20 foot deep. Let's see if we can get them up here shallow. At least we know they're here. I'm back at the bottom and just got my first nibble. Come on, baby. Oh, oh, oh. There's something. Yeah, baby. Not very big, but whoop, whoop, there's something. Ha 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 ha. Ain't no string stretcher. Uh oh. That's a little bitty something. That's darn bait right there. I'm gonna say like a little pin bluefish. I don't know. That's bait. We're saving that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on here, Haji. You going in the cooler. Heck, we might eat that. <laughs> That's like a little brim. Mmm. He ain't what we were after. He'll work his bait. Yeah, get it. All right. Better than nothing. We didn't get skunk, baby. All right, let's get a sheepy, though. We need a sheepy. Look, I see him. I, I can see him. We're going to catch something with this one. I mean, I'm telling you, there. I think I see him right there, don't I? Let's see if we can get him. We're gonna catch him. We're gonna get him. All right, we're on the bottom. This is gonna be the one. Oh, 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 what was that? So the water's fairly clear, and I'm literally sitting here like watching two sheep said. Right down there, and I'm bouncing my little crab all around them. But they're not biting them. I don't know what's up here. Maybe my crab's too little? They're not very big. <laughs> Alright, it's been just over an hour and a half. I've been sitting here watching the fish and trying to catch, watch my bait, and not eat it. I think it's too small, though. And I mean, of course, this one's dead now, but that is a pretty small little crab. <laughs> So maybe that's my problem. They're just spoiled. Spoiled sheep's head. You know what I was about to leave? Those two are actually pretty good size. Let's hook them up. He got a big old claw on him too. Come here. Come here. That one's a little bit bigger. He's got a big claw. We can keep that claw on there. Maybe that'll entice somebody to bite him. Come on, you. Do some good. Come on. All right, well, it's cold. I tried this other crab for 15 minutes. Been here an hour, 45 minutes. Let's go back to the boat. Pitiful. Pitiful performance. My butt hurts. I'm cold. <laughs> yeah. All right, get my little rope. Let's clear out. Without hitting any barnacles right there. 
Whoop. Almost. Lisa got a downwind run to the boat and with the current. Oh yeah. Come here, baby. Tell you what, these winter days, like it's short as rough. It's not good for adventuring. It's 522 and it's dark. Well, and of course you can't see me. <laughs> I got the paddleboard back on the roof. Finally put our bimini up because there's some rain in the forecast and stuff. It's just it's it's really dreary. It's just basically the whole forecast for the next few days is high humidity, cloudy some chance of rain all the time and not very warm temperatures <laughs> that's all right we're making the most of it and i'm starving but that's another story let me tell it to you well we're not eating as good as i had hoped to tonight i was hoping to eat some sheep's head can't believe i could see the friggin fish and they wouldn't bite my little crab <laughs> jokers well i didn't really go to the grocery store actually okay i did go to the grocery store but i forgot something important on the list on the list i put dinner which i was supposed to get something for my dinner tonight and i forgot to get that so i stole three cans of Vienna sausages from my kids one of the barbecue variety heck we may as well have a can of sardines to beach cliff sardines we need to save the rest for another day and we're gonna have some tropical paradise trail mix as our dessert oh and i stole something else from my wife i stole a Lacroix water just because i don't know i don't like them well i, mean, I don't dislike them they're not my favorite but they were there she stopped drinking them so i'm like somebody's got to drink these things it's not that bad this is the lemon cello cello one nothing like a good room temperature carbonated water with barely any flavor Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> All right, I need a spork. There she is. Wait, that's not my one. That's the wrong one. That's it. It's a spoon. It'll it'll work. Just the same trip. I tell you what, we sure do eat good aboard the boat. I haven't named yet. Hmm. <laughs> Regular is pretty good. I used to eat these all the time when I was a kid. Barbecue is okay. Smoked is better and jalapeno is better. This dinner sucks. But we're going to enjoy it because we're on the boat. We're living an adventure. I was going to say the weather's nice and uh, all that good stuff, but it's not. But we're on the boat, so it's fantastic regardless. Man, I, this is like a little feast here. I mean, come on. How can you beat that? <laughs> Y'all, these banana chips. Mmm. Oh, my lanta. They're like cookies. They're not good for you at all. This stuff's got so much sugar on it. And it's even, I think it's fried. I think they actually do fry this stuff. Some of you probably wouldn't want to trip. Why are you eating it? I don't know. What is that? Is that like a, is a cashew covered with something? Hmm. Toasted coconut cashews. Okay. This is my dessert for the week in three days. Ooh, I'll close this. It's getting chilly. It's way too early for it to be dark and I gotta have nothing to do. Oh boy. They in their little guts. 
see if we can catch us a little something with some cut bait this morning while we're hanging out at anchor. Never know, we might get lucky. I'm always asking to get lucky when it comes to fishing. I'm never thinking my skill's gonna pay off today. <laughs> one day though, one day. Well, good morning, everyone. I slept fantastic last night, but I was uh, abruptly woken up one time with the sounds of loud roaring engines and I, there was a barge that just went by and it, I woke up, shot up, because <laughs> I was like, oh my God, did I drift out into the middle or something? I don't know what I was thinking, but uh, we were good, we were great. Temperature's warmed up this morning. It's nice. It's gonna be a good day, Tater. Today we're gonna try some more fishing and we're gonna check our crab traps as well. First thing this morning though, let's see if I can get some live bait. I haven't used this cast net in a long time, so we'll see if I can even cast it. <laughs> Here goes nothing. That's probably an accurate statement. <laughs> nothing. Hey, not too bad. Probably nothing in it, but. All right, I'm gonna keep trying to see if we get something, anything. If not, we're having a good time. We're making an effort. Well, no luck, so I just put my toys up. <laughs> I'll play a different game. <laughs> sure is pretty and nice this morning, though. I will tell you that. I'm grateful for some nice weather. Very grateful, thank you, Lord. We just weighed anchor. Now we're headed to check our crab pots, maybe fish the flats a little bit, or try to cast that a little bit over there in the flats for some live bait. Then we may go back to the bridge to try that again. <laughs> My goodness, it's a great day. We just got to tidy up all these anchor lines and get her underway. Ain't no wind or current out here. All right, Let's see what we got here. Could be another bush. Uh, <laughs> it is another bust. Oh, there's my address. Don't look at my address. Fantastic. Man, maybe dog food doesn't work as good as I read on the internet. <laughs> All right, let's get a little bit of water out of there. I want dog food dripping all in my boat. Let's inspect the bait. Like we're professionals or something, you know? No, they're still baiting there. They just don't like this cheap dog food. That's what it is. It still smells good. Got some darn snooty friggin' crabs around here. All right, let's go collect our other empty trap. At least they're clean. Man, it's beautiful right here. It's beautiful everywhere. I love beauty. Oh yeah, that's so nice, so nice. I've camped right over there before. <sighs> Anybody want to play some bets? Dang! <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> oh, okay, we're drifting into the reeds over here. 
We gotta do something. We gotta produce something. Better than a little bit of bait fish. Sheesh. Check it out. Mmm. Mmm. Ain't gotta take it too far from home. Little bit of heaven just down the road. Ain't nothing wrong with some white sand. Oh. Ooh, it looks chilly. <laughs> Paradise to me. Mmm. Mmm. Good stuff. Well, the voodoo shrimp on the pop of cork didn't really work in that little hole over there. We'll take the cast net, walk back over here on the back side of this island, and maybe catch some bait fish. You know, I kind of feel like I'm doing all this filming and not getting anything. <laughs> Maybe I'm just unintentionally using one of those strategies that a lot of people on YouTube do. And yeah, they kind of, you know, save the grand finale for the end of the video. Mine are just unintentional. I want to catch a big one yesterday when we first got here. <laughs> so I guess I'm just walking this little shoreline and I don't know what, wait till I see a school of fish and chunking at them? Sounds like a plan to me. Something's definitely getting after it out there, but gee, just won't show itself. Coward. All right, just finished rigging up my poles. We're gonna go back to the bridge and try that again. This time we're gonna bottom fish with some cut bait that we have a little bit left of. And I'm gonna also try some casting, I don't know, with some artificials. First, I gotta have some breakfast. It's 10 o'clock, I, I got to hurry too. I can think about is surely that cut bait is going to catch something under that bridge. And dang sure better. Something funny just happened. I just pulled up to my spot. I anchor before I head to the bridge. Right up here on the beach. Was somebody waving at me. I waved back and tossed the anchor out and said, hey. Turns out he was a subscriber. Nice to meet you, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> All right. Get the board in the water. Let's go catch something. Hopefully we're not forgetting anything super important. Uh, let's make wake, baby. We'll be right back. All right, we're back in our position. Let's get our bait out. Without knocking anything off the board. How did I see them do that on YouTube? I think it was like that. We're going with it. Alright, let her go down. Okay. I gotta keep my foot on there or something. So when that big one gets it, it don't take my rod out. And we'll just see if this pop cork will do anything. Something just hit it. Something took it. It was bent over, baby. Man, took my bait. Well, at least we know there's something down there. All right, we're going to cut our other bait in half. <laughs> Actually, I cut it in thirds. Our issue is this is where we sit. <laughs> Ready to clean it off. We'll have a wet rear, but that'll work. Okay, we got that one on there. Let's see how she does. There. Right behind the pilot. Dang, something was on it. Man, I didn't get my bait again. Okay, I'm about to hold this sucker. It's been 45 minutes, probably. Okay, okay. Woo, he cleaned it up, baby. All right, he cleaned it. I'm gonna use it one more time down there. All right, something's down there hitting it. I'm just pecking at it, though. 
Here you got my baby. He cleaned it off. Let's put another fresh piece on there. Hey. Okay, right there in the spot. That's good. Oh, I feel it. Come on now. Where's the big daddy? So I'm taking the driver to the bottom, picking it up about three foot, and something's down there just playing with it. Like right now, he's hitting it. Just tap, 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 tap. And I feel him and I try to set it, but it's probably such a small fish. Ain't doing any good. Yep. Tear my bait up. Dang it. I got one more. They're hitting it. He needs to get stuck on there. Use him as bait. It's all skin now. Hey. Just for fun, I cast over there by the wall, and of course, I'm hung up now. <laughs> Fortunately, I think we're about friggin' done. <laughs> I guess I'll untie us and let us drift away, and we'll see if it comes loose. <laughs> Just missed it. Let's get to the side of it. If it comes loose, it comes loose. We're hung right down there somewhere. If it don't come loose, we're gonna break it off. Broke free. Pitiful, pitiful, pitiful. <laughs> well, we fished for about two and a half hours. You guessed it. No luck. So now we're headed back to the truck just to drop off the crab trap because they're taking up some room back here in the cockpit. I'm also going to empty my trash. Then we're going to head into Destin to meet some subscribers for a uh, late lunch <laughs> you know it's pretty cool that i get to meet people like the guy i met over on the shore earlier and these people i'm going to meet today i really i love meeting people from out so if you guys see me out you should flag me down run me down say hello if you see me going to your area sometimes you can shoot me a message on instagram or somewhere and if i see it in time and if the opportunity presents itself i'll try to come and meet you i really enjoy doing that stuff this sure is one pretty bridge but the fish Sure are snobby right down there. Stuck up fish. If you guys are ever wondering where I go, you know, like what my routes are, I started sharing something called Trips Tracks over on Patreon, where I have basically all of my tracks and my routes and my past adventures and stuff. They're there where you can download them and view them through the free software, Google Earth, what I use to uh, plan all my trips and make my maps. You can check those out. I just thought that might be a valuable resource for some folks. And a lot of folks aren't taking advantage of it, and I think I got a pretty good response from it. So I'm glad y'all are enjoying it, and I appreciate the support over on Patreon. I really do. How far is the snow wig zone? Uh, uh, I wasn't paying attention. Is it at the bridge? Go figure. No, it's right up here. I stopped here at Crab Island for a little bit on our way into the Destin Harbor. Might as well grab us a quick little trip dip. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. It's not that bad. Sorry about the temperature of a spring. Woo. But it is December 10th, so <laughs> chillier than it normally is. Man, it feels good. It's good to freshen up, though. He's a fine little craft there. Boy, this is nice. Actually, it's kind of cold. <laughs> it's a little cold, chilling. Oh, it's all right. All right, just secured the boat here at Bow Champs. You see how low the boat is. It's not really a good way to tie it up. And thank goodness the wind is blowing us off the dock, kind of, sort of. So I think we're good. Let's go get us something to eat. Good, better than uh, vein of sausages. <laughs> Love going here and have the gumbo and a bushwhacker. Let's go. So I don't fall in the water. <clears throat> she looks good. I really need to hitch me a ride on one of these suckers. Mm-hmm. You got a connection? Let me know. Dinner was delicious as always. 
But unfortunately, they didn't have bushwhackers this time of year. That's all right. All right, it's getting a little dark. We need to uh, we need to figure something out. We're doing a little night cruising just down to a different spot in the harbor is all nowhere fancy but i gotta turn this light off so i can see gotta really pay attention in all this but it is pretty at night all right well I just went up to the destin harbor walk and it's the off season so uh there's not hardly anybody here <laughs> But I'm going to hope we find some live music to kind of sit and chill and listen to. I enjoy a little bit of live music. This might be good night. I might just see you guys in the morning. Right here with me. Where's he at? It's a dolphin chasing some fish. It's a couple dolphins, or is it? What is it? <laughs> well, I snuck out here to the pass this morning. We had an incoming tide. Uh, it's somewhat calm out here. So I figured, hey, maybe there'll be some clear water out there. And what do you know? There is. It's beautiful. It's really cool. As I was pulling in, dropped the anchor. I looked over. About 30 foot from the boat, I saw a shadow or something in the water. It was a big dolphin swimming up. I would like to try to catch something, maybe over by the rocks or something, I don't know. I really need to catch something on this adventure other than that little bait fish. Yes, coming at us. Hello there, Flipper. Oh, I need to get in. Well, hello there, Flipper. Hey there, buddy. Can I swim with you? Can I swim with you and play? I'll be in in a minute. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> I have swam with dolphins before in the wild. It's pretty, pretty, pretty wild. I got to touch one. Hey there, but you are you waiting on me? If you wait just a minute, I'll get in there with you. Yes. You so pretty. Yeah. Look at you. <laughs> so cool. So out there, there's a pretty good depth change, and we got the tide coming in. Maybe there's fish there, <laughs> and maybe they'll decide to bite my voodoo shrimp. All right, tried for about 30 minutes, did not produce. Let's try another spot. Let's go hit some grass flats. <laughs> place bets. <laughs> I know right now everybody wants to bet against me, but one day you're going to bet on me. All right? You can bet on that. It may not be today. Everybody has gone away. Said you're moving to L.A.
called a freight, some called a train. to win, some got to lose. Good time, Charlie, got the blues. My old heart keeps telling me, you ain't no kid at 33. You know, I know, I ought to settle down. Some got to win, some got to lose. Good time, Charlie, got the blues. adventure and a grand attempt at catching some fish and some crabs good gracious we got to get better at this but we will we'll do it together believe it or not i actually have a handful of adventures where i did catch some stuff so check those out folks i hope you all enjoy the other ones take care get out there god bless i'll see you all in the next one love you